Well, here is our hostess with the mostess for Wednesday budget meal video. Oh my gosh, this is a wonderful challenge to join in with. I watched this these challenge for, I don't know, maybe six months to a year. And I kept thinking, maybe I should try it. Maybe I should try it. I'm not a great cook and I'm not anything great in the kitchen. But for some reason, I got drawn in by this challenge and I started joining in on, oh my gosh, it's been so much fun. It's fun trying to figure out how I'm gonna get a meal for me and my husband for $5 or less. That is two servings at least. And it can be done, and I'm gonna show you this week how you can do it. But don't forget first to go check out our hostess and the playlist. And see what she put together this week. Now you're going to be amazed what grandma did. I cannot wait to show with you what I did. So let's go over and start. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't forget to check out that playlist. There's some awesome, awesome creators out there putting some great meals together for under $5. And everyone says, oh, I can't afford. I don't know where we're going with food. Come on, guys. We can do it. I'm doing it. You can do it. It's easy to do. Get over here. Watch these videos. See how they did it. Get some creative ideas on how to put some meals together in a small budget. Now, I'm not as good as them. For me to get my meals under $5, I got to put three meals together. And you know why that is? Because I love lots of flavor in my food. Well, let's go see what grandma did. Now, this is last week's video, and I want you to notice. Now, I know this is not a big number for most of you guys out there, so I don't want to hear any comments about that. But I want you to look around my channel. And what is my average view on my channel? Okay, now let's go over to my budget meals. There are quite a bit more views. And I think it's because I'm joining in with budget meals under $5. And another reason why I think they're doing so good, I didn't realize, this many people love spam recipes. I guess I'm doing pretty good. I'm up my numbers because I think a lot of people like spam, like me and my husband. And I can't believe all the recipes I'm coming up putting together some spam recipes all under $5. It's possible, guys. Oh, yeah. This week, I cooked some biscuits and gravy. It's a little bit different twist on it because we're using spam, and I was able to get three servings for it. I had no leftovers because, I mean, I could have easily made more, put a little more spam in there, and made a little more gravy. But I did make three servings out of it. My husband loved it so much, he had two servings. So um, that's where all that went. Then we got to the pasta salad that I made with Spam. It's all in the, this week's video. And I had four servings of that. And then we had used the leftover rice that we had used last week. And we had six servings out of that. So that was pretty good. And we could, we did go over budget. I'm not going to lie, we didn't. But when you consider that was for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, it was a dollar over. It was $16. But if you don't like mushrooms, you could have easily got in about $13. Because I'm pretty sure those mushrooms were $3. But we did great. Now we're going to show you what we did, how we put it together. And if you really want to know, you got to watch from the beginning to the end. Because this video I did, even though it's a little on the long side, we're moving at a pretty fast pace, putting those three meals together. I got all three meals done in an hour and 20 minutes. And I didn't spend an hour and 20 minutes on the video. So it goes pretty quick. So make sure if you want to try it out, watch the video. And I didn't write any uh, amounts down. So write it down yourself. And I thought, well, maybe I get a little more watch time. Aren't I terrible? Okay, let's go over to the video now and show you how I did it. So I'm going to be cooking all three meals at the same exact time. So it'll make it where it'll cook up pretty quick. And some things we already have ready. Because we have some leftovers we're throwing into this meal. Here is a good size bottom pan. And we have 
some water over here that's boiling for my macaroni. Well, I'm doing pretty good. The small pan took this pan up a lot quicker than the bigger pan. So we're just about done. I like it a little bit toastier. And then we will take it off. And then we will start with the next step of this breakfast that I'm putting together. I probably will not use all this meat for the breakfast. Probably will use maybe two of these slices, three of the most. And then this spam is cooking a little slower, as you can see. So we'll probably flip it over one more time. But that's still fine. So we're doing pretty good. And I'll let you know at the end of the video how much everything cost and how much time it took to make three meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is the spam from the small fry pan. It's all done. Now we're going to start with step two. Started with about a fourth of a stick of butter, and I'm having it in here, and it's going to release up all the flavors from cooking the spam in this pan. It's going to put some flour in here and brown our flour up a little bit. This is a pretty big heaping spoon, big spoon of flour that I threw in here. Mixed it up thoroughly in the butter, and now I'm going to wait for that to slightly brown so we can get another great meal going. You can see that my flour has sort of browned a little. You don't want to get burnt, you just want it to brown up a little and take the flour taste out. Now we're going to finish making our gravy. This is called a roux that we're putting together. I'm going to put a little bit of onion in my dish also. I'm going to put a little bit of onions, green onions cut up and put in this. I'll let them cook just for just a second and then I'm going to pour my milk in. Just want the onion flavor to get in this and incorporate. Here is my gravy for breakfast. Now I still have not finished. I added a little milk at a time, stirred it around, and made sure I didn't get it lumpy. And then I put a little bit more in because you want it to be thin, but you don't want it watery. You want it where it's thick. This will just cook another minute and it'll be nice and just perfect. Don't want to dirty a ton of pans, so I put some butter in this pan that I had all the spam cooking in, and all the drippings are going to be incorporated into this meal also. Yummy, yummy for my now, time. I'm not going to use all these mushrooms for one dish. This will probably be divided maybe between two or maybe even three different dishes, and maybe not even all that I share today. But I'm cooking it all at one time. Yes, I just want to get my meals cooked in a hurry and have time for my family and my husband. Now I use two sweet potato Hawaiian sweet rolls and there's two in the bowl. Now I'm going to break them apart and put the gravy over it and let you know how it tasted. Broke it apart and I'm going to stick it in the microwave for about 20 seconds just to barely warm the bread up for everything is hot at the same time. Now, as you can see, the gravy is just perfect. Sorry, the microwave just went off. So you can see that it's not runny, but it's not like clumpy either. And we have our spam in there and our green onions, just to give a little more flavor, because you know how much Grandma loves a lot of flavor in her food. Well, here it is. Yummy, yummy for my tummy. And if you want, you can even throw a few of those mushrooms in that I just cooked. Let me see how it tastes and maybe I'll throw a few mushrooms in also. The first bite tasted really good, a little bit on the sweet side, but that was probably from the sweet rolls. But it was very, very good. And let's see how it tastes with a little bit of mushroom. Mmm. I think the mushrooms really may added a lot more to the taste. It didn't taste quite as sweet, but very flavorful. So I think we managed to get mushrooms in all three meals. But you know I love mushrooms. So really, if you don't like mushrooms, don't put it in. But if you like it, and you just have a little bit of leftover mushrooms, put it in. I think you'll enjoy it. And the red onion, not red onions, the green onions really added a lot of flavor to it also. Let me know what you thought. Quick, easy meal. 
Didn't cost as much to put it together. This bowl is full. We have mushrooms in here, green onions, a couple slices of Spam, and two um, rolls, and of course the gravy. And as you can see, there's plenty of food here, at least for me and Grandpa. So we have enough for at least a really nice breakfast, or maybe even some leftovers. I don't know yet. We haven't finished eating yet. But we may go back and get seconds, because it tastes really good. Let me know what you think. Mm. That mushroom with it is perfect. Mm -mm -mm. That's what it needed. The mushroom set it off perfectly. Mm. I may have to go get a few more mushrooms to put in this. I thought it turned out great. Let me know what you thought. Now let's move on to the next one. I had to go back and get some more mushrooms. They were just too good with this. Well, let's go do our lunch now. I put my hot water on when I heated up my two fry pans to cook the Spam in. And then I put my pasta in by the instructions on the box. And I used about a fourth of a box of pasta. I went and got a fairly good sized bowl and put mixed vegetables. And I put some corn also in here because I feel like they never give me enough corn. And put some butter in there. And that I heated up in the microwave. Now we are going to make a macaroni salad with what I got. I cut up part of a green onion and I put some of the freshly cooked Spam and, and of course some of those mushrooms I cooked also. And I thought this was one of the best pasta salads I have ever had. Oh my gosh. With those fresh well, I shouldn't say fresh, those frozen vegetables, the fresh mushrooms, and the fresh green onions, and I even thought it needed a little something else, so I went out to my garden and cut up a few uh, tomatoes and threw in also. But those mushrooms were the best. That Spam was wonderful. This is a winner, winner, winner. I'll be making this probably every week, as long as I have some fresh, fresh tomatoes in my garden. Oh my gosh, this was fabulous. I tell you, this is the best pasta salad you're ever going to eat. Give it a try. Now that leftover rice from the other day, that is going to be our dinner. This is a really quick meal also. I already cooked all the Spam one time. I put this rice in a fry pan with the rest of the butter. So I used one whole stick of butter for this whole meal. For all three meals together. And leftovers. So this is like a fried rice now because I'm frying it up in that butter and add a little extra water just for a little more moisture back in that rice. Oh my gosh, it was so good and flavorful because I seasoned that rice a lot. If you want to know how I made that rice, go back and watch last Wednesday's video and it will show you how I did it. If you don't want it and you just want white, only want white rice, do whatever you want. But now we're going to throw in the rest of those frozen vegetables, the mushrooms that I already cooked, and the Spam I already cooked, and cut it up and threw it in the pan. And here it is. And it's got a lot of color, a lot of flavor, and of course, I threw some of those green onions in also. Because everything was already cooked. I was just heating it up and incorporating the taste and the flavors of all the difference together. Now look at what it looks like in the bowl. This was our dinner. We got two full servings a piece out of that fry pan. And truly, truthfully, there probably was six servings. It was a lot of food in there. And it looks very colorful on the plate. There's plenty of food in there and it filled us up. I can't tell you how good everything tasted. So here was three meals and we got it. It's $16. But if you don't like mushrooms, you'd be going way under, be like $12. But you got to keep in mind, this was three meals. Then we had lunch and dinner the next day. So it was a pretty, pretty cheap meal. So don't think we were cheap. We got fabulous food. And I did have to cook three meals to get it all pretty well in budget. But hey, every one of these meals was a winner. Give it a try. I think you're going to be surprised how it tastes. 
People always act like, oh, there's not much you can do with spam. Oh, my God. I could not believe. Do you know I have wasted all these years. All I ever made out of spam was fried spam and eggs and fried spam sandwiches. That's all I ever made with it. Never made anything all these years. And me and my husband both like spam. Boy, I was losing out. I'm doing great now. Well, I actually was able to get four different servings out of this macaroni salad. It was just a little bit left, so I used it to go with my sandwich that I just made. And you can see, I was hungry. I already took a bite out of it. And the tomato came from my garden. So I thought we did pretty good on that. And my dinner, we were able to get six servings out of that. So that was pretty good too. So, of course breakfast, my husband loved it so much, he polished it all off in one serving. He had two servings of the biscuits and gravy at breakfast time. So you figure I spent about $16 for all the ingredients that I needed. And what ran that bill up so high was the mushrooms, like I said, the mushrooms, the bread, and the Spam. That was most of the $16 was for those three items. Now, I did spend a little more for a few other things, but I think I think the those three items came to like $11, $12. Because a lot of things are expensive, but you can throw other things in and stretch those meals out. Now, those mushrooms made a huge difference on how everything tasted. And you know, if you don't like mushrooms, you could have easily got this under, I don't know, maybe like $12. I think the mushrooms were three something. So, you know, not everybody likes mushrooms, but oh my God, those mushrooms with that gravy just added that extra thing for breakfast. And the mushrooms were great on this cold salad. And the mushrooms were still great on the dinner that was warmed up. So, if you want to be able to have, eat all day, three meals for $16, I gave you a pathway to it. And there was leftovers for lunch and dinner for other meals. So really, it was super cheap. So, if you want a budget day and eating good, here you have three easy recipes and it took me about an hour and 20 minutes to put all three together. And that's all I had to spend in the kitchen eating. I mean, cooking, what am I saying? I also did a lot of eating. But the next day, we had food ready to eat also with leftovers. The only thing we had to prepare again is breakfast because there was lunch and dinner. So I thought we did pretty good. Technically, it was even cheaper than I thought when you think about it because I got a second day of food except for breakfast. That's pretty cheap. What do you guys think? Come on guys, start thinking out of the box. There's lots of things we can cook that we can stretch out and be wonderful and yummy and still be on budget.